Good afternoon and welcome into Mary's Kitchen. We're outside today, so you'll be hearing the birds singing in the background. Um, how are you all doing today? Hope you're all well. We've got not a bad day here in Scotland today, a little overcast. Um, had a little bit of rain yesterday. I got my little helper here. She's going to give me a helping hand. I'll just wait until one or two come on. Hi, Lisa Kay. How are you? Nice to see you. And Susan. Hi, Susan. How are you? And Cindy. Nice to see you. Cindy, are you still hula hooping? And Deborah, great to see you. You're up early for this one, Deborah. I know that. And Elizabeth and Pam. I'm just going to wait for a few minutes till everybody gets on. Um, this recipe is actually in my Mary's Kitchen cookbook um, called My Favorite Recipes. It's on page 36. So if you do have my cookbook, it's on page 36. Uh, something very exciting this week. Um, we set up a shop on uh, my website, maryjoancalder.com. So you can find some lovely items on there. Aprons, coffee mugs. Uh, beautiful cutting boards, uh, all sorts of things. So do have a visit. That's www.maryjoancalder.com. Go in there and have a look at the shop and you'll see all the different items. The UK side of the shop is open at the moment. The, uh, no, the USA shop is open at the moment, um, but the UK one will be opening probably early next week or at least within a week's time anyway. Who's all on? Hi, Jeannie Morecambe. Hi, and Angie. And Chi Chi, how are you? And Karen, <laughs> nice to see you girls. You're all piling on. Good, good, good. Keep coming on because this is a quite a quick recipe. As I say, this is absolutely one of my favorite recipes. Uh, favorite light lunch, favorite light supper if I don't want too much to eat. Absolutely takes tastes fantastic. Uh, make sure you have some lovely uh, Cheryl. He'll be watching. Look, <laughs> my magic knife. Um, uh, make sure you have some lovely crusty bread. Or if, you, if you've been making, uh, like Trish has been making some sourdough bread, if you've got some lovely sourdough bread or some lovely uh, French crusty bread to dip in because the, the juices of the um, olive oil and the lemon and the chili and tarragon and the tomatoes all kind of blend in together absolutely fabulously. Hi, Her Her Aaron. Sorry, Aaron. Her Her Aaron. Hi, and Karen. Hi. How are you? Thanks for coming on. Oh, thanks, Teresa. Teresa's just saying congratulations there. I'm so excited. My friend Daisy Law, she helped me. Uh, she did the uh, setting up of the shop there for me and got all the items organized. Uh, we're just uh, slowly getting it open. There, we're going to be introducing more items on there. So lots of fun for you girls. Some beautiful aprons, absolutely beautiful with Mary's Kitchen on. So if you just happen to enjoy following me, you might enjoy having one of the aprons or coffee mugs or cutting boards. Cutting boards are really, really cute. Go on and have a look at them. So that's www.maryjoancalder.com. I should have one of those things behind me with that on, but it's all right. It's on my Facebook. You all follow me on Facebook and the web address is right in the title of my Facebook there. So what we're gonna make today, hi Pat and Darlene and Ginger. Oh, how do I spell my last name? Oh, Karen Calder, C-A-L-D-E-R. And if you look on Mary's Kitchen page, you'll see it right at the top of the page in the heading. It says maryjoancalder.com. So you'll see it quite clearly up there. So C-A-L-D-E-R, Calder. That's my last name. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Sonia and Leah. Good, you girls are all coming on. Hi, Sherry. Well, this is one of my, as I said, one of my favorite sort of light lunch recipes, hence I'm making it right now. Actually, I'm probably going to have it for an early supper. I make it all the time. <laughs> I just love it so much. And it does feature in my cookbook uh, on page 36. So what's involved here is uh, goat's cheese, if you can get a roll of goat's cheese and uh, some lovely tomatoes. Now I use two types of tomatoes. These happen to be like a, uh, almost like a uh, Italian tomato. Uh, I just found them in the shop uh, yesterday when I was shopping. I thought, oh, those look rather nice. And also I've got some uh, larger tomatoes here too. So I like to put the larger tomatoes in as the base 
And then I cut up some smaller tomatoes and I also put some sun-dried tomatoes in as well. I've got a jar here of sun-dried tomatoes that I'm using and I just cut a few of them up. I do like to put a little drizzle of that oil um, that the sun-dried tomatoes comes in. So we'll just get started here. Hi Gail, how are you? Les, how are you Les? Back in North Carolina, enjoying the mountains I hope. So nice to see you on here. <laughs> I feel like we're having a little personal chat. That's my friend Les and Gail. They live in North Carolina. Well, they live in Florida too, but they're in North Carolina at the moment. So this is my goat's cheese. I happen to buy my goat's cheese at, you can probably, you have a little there, or you can get it in any, any supermarket, but it just comes in a roll. It's French goat's cheese, or you can get it in bigger slices like that. If you do get it in the bigger slices, you just need one sort of an inch slice of it if you do get it. But I just get this little one here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tomatoes and I'm going to line my little oval eared dishes. So I'm just move that over and put my dishes here so that you can see what I'm doing. I'll just put these tomatoes down there as well. There. So I like to cut this up rather a little thicker. Hey, Les, if Gail's watching... Tell her to come on and see Gary's dress. <laughs> um, I like to cut this about a little thicker, like a sort of a half an inch. Because when it's cooking in the oven, the tomato melts down. And if you cook it a little thicker, it lasts. Now, I even use, I'm sorry, but I do use this bottom bit too. I don't really mind that because once it's cooked in the oven, it's rather nice. So I just... Can you see this okay here? I better bring it out over here. What I do is I just line, this is just to show you how to prep this dish up. It's so simple. You'll love it. Once you make it, you'll make it over and over and over again. I've still got a space for another tomato. That's why I always use three tomatoes because I like it to be a little thicker. And I always put the, the bottom bit with the, of the tomato on the bottom. I'm just making sure you can see that okay there. All right. So we've got the sun shining. The birds are singing. It's all going on. There we go. And then I just layer that around like so. And I need another tomato because I got two more spaces. So I got another lovely little tomato here. I'll just cut that, put a little bit of extra in each one. Put two of them in each one. There. So we've got our, our um, where's my little cloth here? We've got our tomatoes lining our oval eared dish it doesn't matter if you don't have an oval eared dish if you just got some kind of like cooking dish that you can cook this in because we need to put this in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes hi Carrie ah it's your favorite recipe oh and next is the hot mama's meat uh turkey meatloaf oh I know I just told my friend Gail to make that she took my cookbook up to North Carolina so she said she's gonna try a couple of things so I want this, this is for two people, and this is 180 grams. It doesn't matter if it's 200 grams, don't worry about that too much, or if it's a little bit under, it doesn't really matter. So I cut this into four pieces, like so. There. And I'm just gonna put that around my tomatoes, like so. Now this is all gonna melt into the tomatoes, so it's really, really nice. I just want to show you how to do this dish because really it's outstanding and it's very, very, uh, oops, I'm going to cut four bits, aren't I? Yeah. It's very, very clean, a very clean dish. If you're on clean eating diets, there we go. Put one in the middle there. So that's that. And next I'm going to put a couple of these tomatoes. You can use a cherry tomato. I just cut these up rather these cut into four but a cherry tomato will cut into one i just place them around there i'm going to put uh two each two of these each so you see it's basically a tomato based dish <laughs> hear the birds <laughs> my one comes and knocks on the window every day for something to eat it's really quite sweet he's been coming for years too he hasn't just started coming he's been coming for years um so there you go now what else I'm going to do, this is optional if you want. This is all about tomatoes and goat's cheese, but this is optional. I have these sun-dried tomatoes cut up here, and I'm just going to place them in and around on top of my goat's cheese. Um, they give a really, really nice flavor. And place them on here. 
I'll just show you how simple this dish is to make. It only takes you about five minutes to make it. Let's see, I'll put another little piece there. Got a little bit of oil there. I also want to put a little bit of oil. Now, I never waste this oil. Once the sun-dried tomatoes are finished, I always use it for something like cooking spaghetti sauce. So I'll saute my onions and my mushrooms and things in that. Very, very delicious. I'm just going to put a little bit of that oil on just for t flavor, because it's got all the sun-dried tomato flavor in it. Of course, I'm gonna put some olive oil, put a little dash of olive oil around here. And a little bit there, a little glug. Okay, so that's not really measured out. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, chili flakes, of course. A few chili flakes. Just put as much as you don't have to put chili flakes again optional all right now i buy this kind of chorizo this is called a spicy chorizo authentic spanish um i think i bought it in little but you know you can buy it in any way so that's how it comes okay chorizo chorizo alka would tell me how to say that better than i'm saying it hi christine and lisa and zoe and grace Great to see you girls. So I'm going to just cut, I want about sort of five or six pieces in each one. So I'm gonna just cut, this is probably the part of it that's not that clean, so you can leave this out as well. And I'm just going to take the skin off it. There's a little bit of white skin. You don't have to take it off, but it does help when it's cooked in the oven. You're not chewing on some chewy old stringy, you know, casing. So it's best probably to take that off. So just cut this into, uh, I like a lot of chorizo in mine, but usually about five bits I put in. Mm, it smells so nice. Also, it melts down into the sauce too, uh, into the lemon juice, into the olive oil, into the tomatoes. It gives a wonderful flavor. So you're just gonna place that in and around your, your dish. You see how beautiful these looks. I did a picture on the event there so you could see what I was cooking today. There. And we're not finished yet. We're not finished yet. Uh, I'm just going to wipe this a little bit. There. Before the juice all starts falling onto my lap. <laughs> there we go. There. It's only tomato juice. Uh, we're going to put a little bit of uh, Himalayan sea salt. Pink Himalayan sea salt. Just for the tomatoes. It helps bring the flavor out. Not too much. And a little bit of black pepper. There you go. A little bit of black pepper. And then we're going to have a squeeze of lemon on here. I'm going to be using the whole lemon so it doesn't matter about the knife being used. Do you like my noisy birds? <laughs> They've come to join you as well. So I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of this right around. So that's gonna mix in with the olive oil. And then the other half is going in the other one. There we go. If you use a lemon squeezer, your pits all get caught up in there, so which is good. You don't get them, pour them into your food. There we go. So there we have it. We're not quite done yet. We're not quite done. If you like tarragon, and you do happen to have some tarragon, it's dynamite on this dish. It's dynamite. It really, really is. It's so, so good. Just sprinkle that on there. But food for me is kind of like fashion. Fashion, people layer up their clothes and layer up their look, you know, with scarves, with necklaces, with jewelry. Well, food is like that for me too. I like to layer my food up quite a bit. So there you have it. My goat's cheese, tomato, and chorizo with lemon, olive oil, uh, some tarragon, and some sun-dried tomatoes. So I hope you enjoyed that. Hi, Esther. How are you? Oh, uh, coming in. Oh, late. That's okay. Better late than never. You'll be able to watch it on the replay. Um, this is in my Mary's Kitchen Cookbook on page 36. 
And also, if you want to have a look, I've got a lot of recipes on my website, okay? Um, we keep posting them every sort of second week or so. We post uh, one soup, one appetizer, uh, one main course and one dessert, but we keep adding them onto the list, so there's several on there. At the moment, I think you'll probably find about, oh, a good dozen or more recipes on there at the moment. So, and this is one actually from the book, so a lot of you have my book. If you don't, you wanna buy it, again, just go on the website, there's a buy it now button for the UK and the USA, very, very easy to do. And I'm so glad you joined me today. Tomorrow, I'm going to come on live and I'm going to actually make, I bought the most beautiful, uh, huge king prawns and I'm going to make a king prawn and garlic dish for you tomorrow. So I'll be posting it. I'll post the time and everything and I hope that you can get a chance to come on. And I hope, thank you, Deborah. Thank you very much. Um, and I hope you get a chance to uh, make this. If you haven't made it yet, you're going to absolutely love love it. I don't know if Nicole Devanzo's on, but N Nicole, you said every Wednesday you and your friends are going to get together and smell the roses. So this is a great little uh, lunch dish for you girls to have with your cocktails. <laughs> I know you'll probably enjoy it. I haven't seen Kathy Wilson on here today, but hopefully she'll pop on at some point. Anyways, girls, thanks for coming on. And uh, I'll see you again tomorrow. Garlic, garlic king prawns. Remember, I almost forgot, if you see someone without a smile, give them yours. See you later. Bye.